Hey guys, Slider with Packmasters Dog Training. All right, I'm going to show you something real quick here with Buddy, Sophia's Golden Doodle. Okay, you guys haven't seen Buddy in a while. So yesterday I started working on the stand position with Buddy. Just not for any reason, didn't plan it, but I came out to throw a ball for him. I don't, I don't do much with Buddy. When he, anything gets, gets done with Buddy, Sophia usually does it. And because of Halo, we've really neglected working with Buddy. So I started working on the stand. So I've had one session with them so far, but I said, you know what? So many people struggle with this. Let me do a little filming here. When you're teaching the stand guys, there's several different ways you can do it. Like I always talk about everything. There's more than one way, okay? Now, a lot of you buy videos and a lot of the working dog people you see when we're teaching the stand, we put the dog in a sit, right? We use food and we push into the dog for the back legs to pop out and stand. Other people, a lot of different different obedience fields will put the dog in a sit and kind of guide the dog out with food into a stand that's all fine a lot of different ways I suggest you do it all different ways um, one way I had to use for someone it was a obedience competitor who's struggling with this stand a great deal and everything the way we normally teach the stand it just wasn't working so what I did was I laid a leash a long line down on the ground we put the dog in and down over the line and with the leash towards the back end of the dog, I literally started working the dog up, pulling the dog straight up. So I would tell the dog stand and pull the dog straight up. I physically put the dog in the stand using a, a, using a leash. That worked for that specific dog. Every dog is different and you could do multiple things. So we're gonna use the chuck it here. Other couple of ways you can do it. You can teach the dog a touch stick, okay? So when the dog learns how to touch, the dog's rewarded. You could use it, the dog is in a down, you use the pointer, I'm using a chuck it, and when you tell a dog stand, you give him the pointer, he stands up to touch, you mark that. What I'm gonna do is a similar, but a little bit different, and I'm gonna show you. So from the down position, I'm gonna tell Buddy stand, and then I'm gonna kinda just push into him with the pointer. They respond off the pointer or the chuck it very well, okay? And then as he stands, I will tell him yes, and I will throw the ball. We'll do that one or two times. But remember, I'm gonna tell him stand first and then use the pointer. So it looks like this. Come here, buddy. Right here. Okay, down. So from a down position, first I'm gonna tell him stand. Yes. He's so goofy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. boy, over here. Out. Good out, out. Okay, so I'll show it to you again, guys. So you see, I gave the command first, stand, and then I pointed to him, he pops into the stand. We, we reward that one more time, down, down. So from a, from a down position, okay, I tell him, buddy, stand, yes. Okay, so this is our second session now, okay, guys? I did one five or 10 minute session. Now through repetition, what's gonna happen is when I tell him stand and then I point, you see he jumps into a stand, I say yes, I reward that. What's gonna happen once he hits a certain amount of repetitions, and it'll happen real fast. I'll say stand, I won't have to point. He'll anticipate the point and then he learns to do the position without the physical cue. So very, very simple, okay? Most dogs have no need to learn a stand, but it doesn't matter. It's just fun to do, and the more you teach your dog, the better. All right, guys? Go give it a try. Thanks.